Hi all, welcome back. Um, this is a quick tutorial and a follow-up to setting a primary identity. Um, this one focuses, this video focuses on setting an identity for a ledger stash. So some may wish to use a ledger stash and for their validator stash and they want to have an identity set it and you can't set a primary identity for a ledger account. So as we see here, this third account has, um, if we go to the three dots, we don't get the option to do so. And if we do so on a regular account, which is created on chain, we can. Okay, so this is something, this is a, a limitation within the system. You have to work with it. You can't set a primary identity on a ledger account right now. So to do, to actually get an identity set on the ledger account, what you need to do is set a sub identity. <clears throat> and I'm going to describe how to do so. First of all, you need to set a primary identity and there is a tutorial for that that's totally separate. You hit three dots and you go to set on chain sub identities. You hit add sub and you choose the address, which is, it, it showed up immediately, test y -E -T, that's the ledger one, and we give it a name, and I'm going to do 01. So the naming is actually going to be the primary identity, which is superguy slash 01, and you'll see how it will be rendered very soon. If you want to do another, you hit add sub, you choose another account, and you can give it another name like O2 and then you hit set subs. You sign the request, you give it a few minutes. Now you don't even need to register or request identity again. They all show up and you see it's superguy slash O1, superguy slash O2. Now if you go back to set on chain sub identities, right, the information is a bit skewed. You, you're probably not noticing it immediately, but they are both showing up with the same address. Okay, so if you do go back into your identities and you want to edit it, you need to set them back again. So I need to set this one to 01. They all defaulted to Superguy and I need to set this back to 02. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit messed up. Okay, so that's a little bug, something that you need to note. And if you want to remove one of them, you can just remove. It takes the last one out. I would, let's say I want to keep my second one and I want to change it to the first. I do so. Okay, so that may have just been a bit confusing, but the key point to note is that when you go to edit after you have originally set your sub identities, you need to check over all of the account information. Don't assume that it will pull the right information, check it over all over again, and you should be good. All right, so we have a bit of a duplication here, superguy0101, I'm just going to do a refresh and hopefully that will be fixed. Let's, just, let's see that to fruition and we will end the video. I hope this helps because it's a quite common question that's asked in the support channels. How do I set an identity on my ledger account? So we give this a while to load. And once it does, I hope to see the results that we are looking for. Super guy. And O1. Okay, so it, it worked. You may need to refresh your screen, but rest assured what's written on chain is important. Okay, so that is it. Thank you so much and um, enjoy the rest of my videos. Take care. Bye.